Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. We grieve, we mourn, as did the people of Israel when Moses died. We grieve and we mourn because we feel a sense of loss. When we lose our cell phone temporarily, or our pocketbook, or our wallet, we grieve. We feel bad. We've lost part of ourselves when our favorite baseball team loses a game, we grieve. Why grieve over that? Because we have invested ourselves into that particular game or that particular organization. Just as we invest ourselves in our wallets, in our purses, in our bank accounts, when something goes wrong and we lose, we grieve, we mourn. <clears throat> Even more so when a person, a member of our family especially, dies, we have invested our life in them, given them our time, our energy, our concern, our love. And when they pass away, we grieve, we mourn because we have lost someone in whom we have invested ourselves. They become a part of us. Now, it's, it's strange, but we grieve, we mourn, but very often we don't know exactly how to do that, how to mourn, how to grieve. It becomes a very long and extended process. Sometimes it goes on for many, many years, our grieving, our mourning, because to grieve and to mourn means to let go, and we find it hard to let go. To let go and let God. So maybe the way to deal with grieving and mourning in a very effective way and a very a prayerful way and a very loving way is to do the thing that we need to do, to move out of ourselves, to let go, and to be with others, to share our thoughts, our feelings, our fears with others. That's relationship. And when we get out of ourselves, we are no longer feel lonely, 
we no longer feel like losers. We feel alive again. Relationship. The other way, and it's a continuing part of relationship, is to contemplate, to be with the temple, to be with God, to let God hear our prayer. And God will let us know that everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be good. To contemplate means to go to our inner room, as Jesus said. To go to our inner room and come to know the life that God has given us. To be grateful for the life that God has given us. And to be grateful to the God who takes care of us, who provides for us, who loves us, especially in times of loss.